So you mentioned it just a second ago, Toshiba is cell TV, it's the cell processor, yeah. it's a TV. Why? What's a cell pro what's a PS3 processor doing in a Toshiba HD TV? Well the, the cell processor that powers the PS3 was co-developed by IBM, Toshiba, and Sony. So it's about time they actually put this to work. I mean you can buy a blade server from IBM, but, <laughs> but putting it in a TV, last year they demonstrated this as a prototype doing say eight HD streams at once, all being decoded using the power of that processor. They're going to use it for things like 2D to 3D conversion. They're also going to use it for up conversion, cleaning the video. They're basically going to take advantage of something that's roughly, they're claiming, 140 times more powerful than any other CPU in a TV, and using that to make better features and better performance out of it. Other things I liked about that particular cell TV technology they're using, brightness. They're claiming they can put 1,000 candela per square meter out wow. of this TV. That's roughly twice as bright as any other That's TV. That's sun territory. That is really, really bright. That's and using it outside in Arizona in the summer territory. Now, this is going to be a full backlit LED backlit system. It's not right. an edge lit system. So while it will be very, it would be fairly thin, it'd be under an inch thick, but it's going to have probably the most number of zones in terms of local dimming technology. The local dimming meaning that you can dim the LEDs in a specific area of the screen when you're displaying, say, black, to make the screen look very dark, almost unmeasurable black levels. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna have 512 zones. That's a good 150 more than I've heard from any other manufacturer. This is gonna be a very expensive TV. Other, other features of the cell include a terabyte hard drive built in, built in wireless and networking, it's a do-it-all TV, but you know, no pricing, no availability announced yet. Let's wrap it up. 3D HDTV is coming, probably yeah. enforced by this summer. More titles will be announced this spring. Players are in effect. Players are in effect. We're going to talk more about Blu-ray players here at the show a little bit later on. Um, a lot of gorgeous TVs with big screens are going to be very, very affordable, especially by this summer. Starting out probably with the Vizio 75-inch, which is going to be selling for probably 3400 NBHD compatible. 480 hertz, skip it. It's a waste of your time. Ah. Okay. Okay. Do you see it? I mean, if it's there and it doesn't cost you any more, go for it. Bigger numbers. Marketing people love this kind of stuff, but <laughs> in reality, you know, it's good for all of us to see. I'm more impressed by the streaming technologies coming to less expensive models. <laughs>